I was going to wrap up this conversation with cement. Sure. Because it's such a hot space of late yes. Uh, yes. because of what's happened. Yes. Now, is your base thesis that there is heightened chances of MA activity? So the stock prices are telling us that the markets believe that there is going to be consolidation. Now, my limited two points are I don't know who will sell and who will buy. But historically, if you look at the space, the only time we have seen MA uh, take place is generally when you have had stress. Uh, companies have at leverage, they had to go through NCLT, uh, and that is when there was a forced buyer and there were willing sellers, uh, willing buyers. Now you do not have stress. If you look at the listed companies, 16, 17 cement companies which are listed, uh, very few have debt, and even their debt is manageable. Uh, today's profits are maybe lower than last year, but are near cycle highs, uh, and the demand mm -hmm. outlook is strong. So if you were to put yourself in a seller's place, uh, I mean, there is no push for him to sell. The question is that if he gets a very high price, then does he blink? But if you have a very high price, then why would a buyer buy the asset? He can go and build an asset. Uh, so the stocks are telling us that there is M&A, uh, but when I look at fundamentals, it does not look like that. So I think what I will focus on is the capacity addition. I don't want companies to keep on announcing cap ads. Because if that is happening, then there is no consolidation happening through. Got it. What about the space per se? I mean, are we entering any kind of a cycle or an end of a cycle or something like that? So uh, it is interesting in a sense that obviously the demand outlook is very strong. Having said this, uh, if you look at the next two to three years announcements in terms of capacity additions by cement companies, it is the highest ever we have seen in the last 15 years or so. Every single cement company is working on an expansion project on the ground. Uh, and you have bunching up of capacities. Uh, so what you don't want uh, is for whatever reason, demand weakness on the margin or being lower than what was expected because there is a lot of capacity coming through, which was not the case for the last three to four years. Hmm. Which something tells me in your answers that you are not, you are, you are sounding net neutral on the space at large, especially after the run -off. Yes, so our view is that if you look at cement stocks, uh, every single one of them is trading at near lifetime highs in terms of EV EBITDA, which is the earnings based metric or EV per ton. Uh, so the stocks are pricing in a lot of earnings momentum, a lot of re-rating, uh, and the fundamentals on the ground marginally will slightly do it in terms of supply demand. So if you're buying a stock today, uh, you are expecting a breakout in terms of consolidation, you're expecting a breakout in terms of supply not coming through. Uh, the risk reward is not in favor at this point of time.